All right, folks, gather around because I've got some piping hot news that's going to blow your superhero-loving minds. W, if you're a fan of Amazon's hit series, The Boys, then you're in for a treat. A spinoff series called Gen V is about to make its grand entrance. And let me tell you, it's going to be a roller coaster of emotions, action, and yes, a whole lot of blood and guts. So let's dive right in, shall we? First off, Gen V is set to expand the universe of the boys by introducing us to Godalkin University, a prestigious college exclusively for superheroes. Imagine Hogwarts, but for caped crusaders. The series aims to explore the lives of these young soups as they navigate the challenges of college life, from grappling with their identities to dealing with the pressures of being the next big thing in the superhero world. But here's the twist. These aren't your average college challenges. We're talking about life or death situations, moral dilemmas, and explosive events. Literally. Now, you might be wondering, when does this all go down? Well, mark your calendars because the first three episodes will premiere on September 29 with new episodes rolling out weekly until its grand finale on November 3 and the cast. Oh, it's star-studded. We've got Jazz Sinclair, Chance Perdomo, Liz Broadway, and many more. Plus guest appearances from the boys' actors like Jesse T, Usher, and Claudia Dumit. So you know it's going to be epic. But wait, there's more. The timeline of Gen V is set between seasons 3 and 4 of The Boys, so it's like a delicious superhero sandwich. And speaking of delicious, the series promises to be a feast for the senses. One of the stars, Chance Perdomo, has described the show as fucked up. And if you've seen the trailer, you know he's not exaggerating. From crawling inside human heads to dealing with murderous puppets, Gen V is set to push all boundaries. Now, let's talk about the darker side of things. The series hints at something much more sinister lurking within the hallowed halls of Godalkin University. While it's not clear what that is, it's evident that these young heroes will have to make some tough choices. Will they rise to the occasion and be the heroes they're trained to be? Or will they become the villains of their own stories? It's a question that adds an extra layer of complexity to this already intricate narrative. In terms of production, the series is in good hands. Michael Fazekas and Tara Butters serve as showrunners and executive producers, along with the boys' showrunner Eric Kripke. So you can expect the same level of heart, satire, and raunch that made the boys a hit. So are you excited yet? Because I am. Gen V is shaping up to be a groundbreaking addition to the superhero genre, offering a fresh perspective on what it means to be a hero in a world that's far from black and white. It's part college drama, part Hunger Games, and all parts awesome. Before you dash off to rewatch the boys in preparation for Gen V, don't forget to convert, like, and subscribe for more juicy updates like this one. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on what's coming next. And that's a wrap, folks. Until next time, keep those capes flying high and those eyes peeled for more superhero awesomeness. No